Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Uh, this is kind of a big set, so it's going to be a little static and kind of far away, so I'm going to do my best to bring everything up. Um, this is set 8161 Speed Racer Grand Prix Race from 2008. Uh, this was from the Speed Racer line that only had four sets. This was the biggest one. Uh, that line lasted eight months, but this set retired in six. Um, I honestly have no idea why I even ever bought this set back when it came out. I have never once seen an episode of Speed Racer. I have never seen the movie. I'm not even into cars. I I don't know why I have this. Uh, if I were to get rid of sets, this is probably be, be one of them that I would get rid of because I have literally no emotions invested into this line um, I actually have a lot of like racers car sets I don't know why <laughs> uh, this set had 595 pieces and it retailed for $59.99 if you want to get it on Bricklink right now there are 14 listings 11 of them oh sorry 11 of them are actually complete. The other three are just, like, single cars. Um, there's one listing for $74, and then the next uh, complete listing is 133 And then of those 11 complete listings, eight of them are sealed, and they range between $214 and $386. So it held its value pretty well. Uh, it's probably because it was such a small window, and these are all unique minifigures to this set, so kind of hard to get your hands on them. Uh, there are seven, technically eight. Uh, the monkey doesn't really count, but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, we're going to go through these unique minifigures real quick. This guy right here is known as Cannonball Taylor. He goes for about $3 in decent condition. Um, and all the prices for the rest of these will also be under the assumption that they're in at least fairly good condition. Um, I like to look at not the lowest listings because those are always like cracked and damaged. Uh, I go a little bit further down on the list. And, you know, generally, if it's like a 3 to 5 range... I'll say it's about four bucks, uh, sort of price wise. Uh, the next one, he's up here. He's just called Commentator. He's got a great vest, though. No printing on the back or arms or anything. It's pretty simple characters. Uh, he also goes for about three dollars. The next one is the Gray Ghost. He's got a chain sort of, I'm not going to say fetish, but there's lots of chains on his outfit. He also goes for about $3. Next up is Pops Racer, who, if I'm not mistaken, was played by John Goodman in the movie that they did. He is about $4. Kind of has that Mario face. Like, honestly, if they ever did actual minifigure Mario, that, that'd be a great face for it. He got a little oil can there. Next up is the man himself, Speed Racer, wearing his white racing coveralls. These are kind of hard to tell, but they are printed. It's, like, slightly off-white with a, a metallic zipper on a white body, you know? I mean, the face isn't anything special. He's got the printing on his helmet. He's about $6. Uh, then this little guy, Sprittle, surprisingly enough, he's $9 for this little guy. I don't understand why he's the most expensive, but he is. And then, last but not least, we have Trixie with her sparkly pink gown. It's printed on her legs, but 
uh, nowhere else. <laughs> I don't know. Her, her face kind of weirds me out. And the hair is very chunky looking. I don't know. Uh, she is also about $6. And then we get to the reddish brown monkey. Now, this is technically one named Chim Chim from the show and the movie. They don't have it listed as a minifigure on the Bricklink page. But this is featured in 38 sets or books or whatever. I don't know if they put them in the books, but uh, it is technically a named character uh, but it's not listed as a minifigure in the you know the bricklink data um that's about two dollars because it's it's easy to get they used to used to make a lot of those all the pirate sets a long time ago uh <clears throat> pardon me i'm gonna show you some stuff we've got a finish line it's brick built nothing special there we've got I, I actually really like these little things back here we got this little tool cart it's adorable and these little the hinge pieces for the wheels opens up you fit a bunch of stuff in there I'm actually missing the hammer I have a couple somewhere but I don't know where the one for this is so this is technically not a complete set, but whatever. Uh, we got this little other cart. It's got a bunch of little, you know, your standard Lego tools sitting in there. It's also really cute. Then you've got just a pair of spare tires. Stack those up, and we've got a little hand truck. Some people call these dollies. It doesn't have any wheels on it, I'm sure you could have found a way to do that and it doesn't really fit them on there that well but you know it's implied it's cute and these are great that little oil cans now these have stickers on them they're cute little things uh, a bunch of signage like these Basically like ad pillars. These are all stickers. There's a lot of stickers in this set. Like it came with several sheets worth of stickers. It's a real pain in the butt to put them on. You know, there's a lot of like Japanese and Russian and various other languages. Because um, it's... If you remember correctly, uh, Speed Racer originated as a anime in Japan, so there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, you've got this big rotating sort of billboard that I assume these are either lights or speakers. But it, yeah, it just spins around and it's showing him live Speed Racer. <laughs> it's strange. And then we have the big old stand back here. These are hinged. A bunch of flags. Commentator in there. Uh, more stickers down here. Then it's sort of the, the pit back here. You've got all the Lego tools. Different sizes and stuff. You got a drill and a... Uh, like a socket on that one, but that's got a drill bit. You got various size hammers and wrenches over here. Another gas can. It's all just a big sticker. And then all of these, there's six of them. They have the exact same image as the big billboard sign here. And then there's that up there. And the stickers on this side of the flags are obviously different than the other side. Um, there's honestly not much going on with this. It's big, there's a lot of stuff, but it's not, not a lot of, like, playability. It's just there. Sort of like a display thing. 
Uh, let's go over here with Cannonball Taylor's car. Now, all three of these are all very uniquely built vehicles. The back is really lackluster. Like, the front looks nice. Sides, details, and stuff. And then you just got to... There's a flat back on this. Like, they could have, like, put taillights or something on that. Uh, I love that they're using frying pans. They've got four of them. They've got those above the wheels. It's fantastic. And uh, putting all these stickers on was such a pain. And if I'm not mistaken, so these pieces, there's four of these up front. I think these came out before they had the one where it's both of these are combined into one piece. So it's the exact same piece, but it's a, a two by four instead of a one by four. And I think these sets came out before that piece existed, which is why you've got these stickers going over two pieces instead of just one. I, I never actually paid attention to that. And then over here to the Great Ghost car. This one feels a lot more like a, a, a formula racer. I, th I think this is my favorite of the three. This is really cool looking. And it's got this sort of like marbled... Kind of, I mean, if it was different colors, it would be very 90s. Like, you know, the... <laughs> the... the teal and the dark blue on white and some purple stuff i if you guys know you guys know <laughs> you know exactly what i mean um like this one you get uh tail lights it adds a pop of color back there it's not look i mean it is blocky as hell back here but it's not too bad looking and here's the bottom and just like the other one's pretty flat but this is this one's great, and you also have that same thing with the uh, the headlights over here, right there, and right there. Um, they do have a piece for that, the two by four piece. But like I said, I think these came out before that piece existed, and so you can see the seam there where it's two pieces there and there. I do like this one a lot. And last but not least, the man of the hour's car. Like I said, yeah, right there. You got two pieces as opposed to having the one piece. So they've done it, what, four times now? Which definitely makes me think that piece did not exist. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I literally just saw one before making this video on one of my other sets that I just did a video on the Bark Speeder. Uh, I had a piece come off, and I popped it back on. It's like, oh, hey, that's cool. It's a, a 2 by 4 version. And so it's, it's like, fresh in my brain right now. Um, they have the exposed wheel wells here, and the angular, and it kind of flares out there. It's kind of... It's, it's nice. You got that sort of, like, turbine in the back. Like, the back here is a lot more detailed. It's not so blocky and just abrupt. Um, from the side, this has a real F1 vibe to it. I mean, that one feels more like a bumper car, honestly. I mean, it's got the wheel guards. It, it literally feels like a bumper car to me, while the other two feel like Formula One racers. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, big stickers on... Actually, this one has the least stickers of all of them. That, I think, has the most. That has a bunch of small ones. This only has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This only has seven stickers on it. It's surprisingly sticker light um and then basically it's all white so keep this stuff out of the sunlight it'd be really awful to have this set sitting on a shelf and then you look over and half your car's yellow that one's already half yellow you don't need two in the same set um but yeah this is uh a big Speed Racer set. I, I think it technically falls under the Lego Racers banner or theme because uh, that was real big back then. Um, but they got license from Warner, Warner Brothers to do a line of Speed Racer sets for the movie that came out back then. And uh, 
I don't know, live action anime adaptations have not been hitting in the last few years that they've done it. And I, I can't imagine just how bad the old, old adaptations were. And I just noticed something right here. Um, on the instructions here, you've got Cannibal Taylor's car up here. Oops, sorry. I don't know if you can see that very well. And you just have Speed Racer here, and you can see they've got windshield. That's got a windshield there. And, he, and the Cannibal Taylor's got a different number, and he's got a different design. Like, this feels like a completely different vehicle, you know? This is square. And, you know, this has sort of that back hump behind the, the front. Oh, come on, focus. And it comes to a point in the front here where this one doesn't. So I don't know if that was just a different car or a different design. Because that's got a 9 on the front and this one has an R. So it, it must be a different vehicle. I I have no idea what any of the other sets are like this is the only one i have and i've like i said at the beginning i have never seen the show so i have no idea what the lore is who has what vehicles or or, or what but <clears throat> i just wanted to make a video on this it's been sitting on this table for a couple days uh i i had to declutter everything because it was just so spread out and big um but yeah, if you guys are into this, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm about to put this back in a box and probably never look at it again. Uh, but if you liked it, liked it. If you didn't, that's fine. You And, uh, you know, comment what you want. I like talking to you guys in the comments. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm sure basically none of you have made it this far, but whatever. I'm going to keep plugging along, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.